Hi, hello, welcome back. It has been a while since I've done a favorites video and I figured with the holidays approaching, it was the perfect time to share my current Amazon favorites. Now, in the past, I would typically categorize them, but today the only category is things from Amazon that I'm currently loving, but I'm gonna share 10 items with you and they will all be linked down in the description box. We are starting here in my office because the first item is my stand-up desk. You may remember, a few vlogs ago, I was standing at my kitchen island working. I convinced myself I did not need a stand-up desk, and you can also see how that turned out for me. <laughs> but this stand-up desk is from Flexaspot, who also happens to be sponsoring this video, so thank you, Flexaspot. A few years ago, I actually had a desk bike from Flexaspot that I loved, and so they were the first brand that I went to for a stand-up desk. This is your desk? This is my desk. Now this one is the EG8, which I will link for you down in the description box. It's in the color white with a glass top. First of all, it was so stinking easy to assemble. I remember Billy started cooking dinner and I told him, I'm gonna go upstairs, start putting the desk together. I came downstairs before he finished and he's like, oh, are you taking a break? Are you gonna work on it You know, after dinner? I said, no. I'm done, like I put the whole thing together. It was very easy, but this desk is also electric. So it plugs in and then you have this keypad over on the side with buttons that allow you to raise or lower the desk electronically. Plus you can even pre-program up to four different heights for the desk. So all I have to do when I'm ready to stand is press a button and the desk will raise to that exact height that I've set it to. There also are two USB ports plus a USB-C port and a child lock. So if you have little ones running around and you're worried about them pressing the buttons, don't worry, you can lock it. There also is a drawer. It's a nice skinny drawer, but it's perfect for storing all of those like pens and pencils, things like that, that you need when you are working. But I love to start my day sitting at the desk and then after an hour or two, when I just kind of need to get up and get moving, I will go ahead and raise the height. I will then work standing for a couple of hours and then, you know, the afternoon slump hits, I'm usually ready to sit again. So I will lower that down, but it's perfect for working from home. And I even know some teachers that have these in their classroom, either for themselves or for students to be able to use. So again, thank you Flexispot for sponsoring this video. If you are interested, I will have more information on the desk and a sale they are running down in the description box. But coming back to the drawer, I love this drawer, but I also realized I needed some organizers because it's a super skinny drawer and I wanted to be able to maximize the space. So I went on Amazon and I found these organizers. They are a 1.3 inch height and they fit perfectly inside of this drawer, but they also are expandable. And one thing when it comes to organizing spaces like drawers, you really want to maximize the space. So you want to take up as much of the space as possible. And having something like this where it will expand and allows it to fill the space and it's not gonna be all loosey goosey, you know, kind of moving around inside is perfect. So these organizers came in a four pack. I have three of them here with a little bit of extra space for my remotes. And my fourth one, we're gonna move over here, Billy, <laughs> is actually in my Alex drawer. Now these drawers are from Ikea. And can we just appreciate these organizers because they expand, you can expand it and have it sit right on top of the drawer, but the drawer will still open and close. It just, it makes my organization heart so happy. So this is the fourth one and I just have it organizing some of the stickers that Bridget and I sell with teaching on the double. The next item seems super simple, but if you do not have one of these, I am telling you, you need it. I don't know what to call this besides an outlet adapter, but the brand is Tessan, T-E-S-S-A-N. These come in tons of different sizes. This one I actually use when traveling. Billy and I just got back from a flight today and I took it from my carry-on to here. And they also have larger ones. Welcome to the hot mess corner of my office with all of my plugs because I have to charge my camera and my microphone and my other microphone. And in order to plug them all in, I had to get a really big adapter piece. But what I love is that I've got the typical plug pieces and there's one in the front, the top and both sides, but there also are spots for USB and USB-C. 
And I mentioned that I use this to travel because whenever I go to hotels, it never fails. There's only one plug by the bed and there's already a lamp plugged in. So I always plug this in. That way I can charge my phone, my watch, my laptop, all of the things at one time. And they even make these in international versions. So if you travel international, you can get one of these and not only have the plug adapter, but also have all the plugs at once. So I will link several options of these because as I mentioned, they have a ton down below. And Ember is ready to go show you her personal favorite, but it's one of mine too. So Ember was the inspiration along with one of my friends and old coworkers for the next item. This is what we call the Ember Cam. My friend posted a Instagram story where she showed a camera that was meant to keep an eye on her dog when she wasn't home. And I just realized I needed that in my life, but I thought, <laughs> Ember, leave the camera man alone. <laughs> So I figured the camera would be really expensive, but I went on Amazon and I found these mini blink cameras for $30. It just plugs right into the wall and it connects to your Wi-Fi. You can open up and look at the camera at any time. There's two-way audio, so I can hear the audio, but I also can speak to her. I don't do it very often because I don't think she realizes it's me but it's an option. It also has motion detection. So if she comes up into her kennel because she loves to spend time in there, it will notify me on my phone and I can open it up and look at her. It also has night vision. It's a little creepy looking because her eyes are like super, super bright, but it eases my, you know, mom heart toward Ember and making sure she's okay when we're not here. So the other item, this kind of goes together, is this outlet shelf. When I got the camera, I knew there was a plug right here by her kennel, which was perfect, but I needed to figure out how to position it. We have this like little spot up here by the stairs and I thought I could have it up this way, but it was too high. So I went on Amazon and I found this outlet shelf. Essentially, you take the front of your outlet cover off and you attach the outlet shelf. It can hold up to like 10 pounds and it also has cord storage. So this top part, you can like put the cord inside of there and then that way it's just a little piece that comes down here. But it's perfect not only for a camera but also for like <laughs> Amazon devices. Billy has a bully stick, which is like a chew thing we give to Ember in his pocket and she is just sniffing <laughs> all up in that area. So this shelf is great for like charging devices. You can put your phone on it while you're charging it. You could have Amazon devices on it, but also things like the camera. To the kitchen. To the kitchen. kitchen. We have moved down to the kitchen for the next item, which is the Ninja Foodie. I'll be honest, when Billy told me he wanted this, I was a little apprehensive because I thought it would become just another kitchen appliance that never got used. We've all been there, <laughs> but this has been one of the best purchases we have ever made for the kitchen. We actually got this over three years ago, and I think they have newer models now. We personally have this six and a half quart option, and it's been perfect for everything that we need. What I love is that this is a slow cooker, a pressure cooker, an air fryer. They call it air crisping, but it's the same thing. It will broil, it will steam, it will bake, it will dehydrate. We've never used that setting, but it replaces all those different appliances that you have into one. So it comes with a pot and this is like the insert piece. This is what you take out to clean. I love that it's so much more lightweight than like a typical crock pot, you know, ceramic piece that you have to take out. It also has this like air crisper tray. This is what gets things super crispy. And then this is like a roasting rack, but we use this at least four times a week. And obviously, you know, there are some nights we don't want to do dishes. So I went on Amazon and I got a second pot, which is really nice just to have a spare. And also it's great because if you have a bunch of leftovers, like if we make a big pot of chili in here, I can put the whole pot in the fridge and then we still have another one to be able to use. But if you're looking to save time and you don't want a ton of appliances clogging up your kitchen, you need a Ninja Foodie. You can make soups in here, chicken, vegetables. We use it for anything and everything. This next item, I will be the first one to admit, is not a necessity. This is a splurge item, but it has made me so happy. It is an expandable drink organizer. And no, I did not just buy this. I just bought it for the fourth time because I loved it so much. 
and it's now the only thing I want holding my drinks. Guys, please help yourself to some drinks from the fridge. <laughs> How this works, it's almost like vending machines where it's like a spring loaded. So when you pull one can out, the rest of them move forward. There are three different sections, depending on the size of drink, because it can hold from like 12 ounce drinks up to 20 ounce drinks. It holds anywhere from like four to five. I know protein shakes, I can get five in each column, but with things like Gatorade bottles or soda cans or energy drink cans, it will only hold four. But we have a lot of drinks, okay, in our fridge. We've got protein shakes, Gatorade, sodas, all the things I just mentioned. And I was so tired of constantly rearranging them to have them be in nice, neat rows, only for them to get messed up again. So I knew there had to be a solution. I went on Amazon and I made the mistake of just ordering one of these without measuring the dimensions of my fridge. By the way, it comes with these like sticky pad things you can put underneath. I have not used it for any of them and they've all stayed put, but I just ordered one and when it came in, I realized it did not fit my fridge. So definitely measure first. I think this one is like 13 and a half inches deep, but it fits perfectly in our fridge. We have three of them across the top row. And then this one is gonna go in the second row to hold all of the Gatorades because they were feeling a little left out, but it keeps them all nice and organized. It's super easy to load. And when I open the fridge, I'm so much happier now. If you have seen any of my recent vlogs, you've already seen this. It's a foam roller, which is not a revolutionary tool, but I personally neglected just recovery in general for a really long time. And as I've gotten older, I am much more appreciative of recovery. So stretching, foam rolling, it's a great way to just recover your muscles before a workout, after a workout, you foam roll and it helps to increase blood flow and it helps your muscles be able to better recover. So this one is by the brand Trigger Point. They do come in different colors and different sizes. This is the 13 inch. And what I love is it has a solid core, which a lot of foam rollers that are just foam, they kind of get like deflated over time and all lumpy, but this one keeps its shape. It also has these different grooves. And can I just tell you, it hits different in a really good way and it just feels amazing. So I leave this here in the living room and when I'm watching TV before I go work out or after I go work out, I foam roll for a couple minutes. You can find YouTube videos that show you how to do it, but my body has been thanking me. I have not started decorating for Christmas yet. Quit on Christmas, Christmas quits on you. Hence the pumpkins, but <laughs> I will be soon. And I wanted to share this ornament storage box that I got last year and love. First of all, a lot of Christmas organization boxes are red and green, not a fan. So I did some searching and I found this black one. This holds 48 ornaments, at least 48 like normal size ornaments. There are these trays. So each tray holds four by four. So in theory, 16, but if you put more than one ornament in each one, you can actually get a few more. And there are three of these trays within here and they all kind of stack. So it keeps the ornaments nice and protected. But then when you're taking them out, it's easy because they're all in one piece and then it all just zips up and you can keep it, you know, in your garage, in your shed, in your attic, wherever it is, you keep your decor and they will be nice and protected. You don't have to worry about them getting crushed. And then it just, it's so compact and it doesn't scream tacky Christmas colors. <laughs> Billy told me to resist the urge to start this clip by saying this is where the magic happens, which is what they always said when they got to the bedroom in MTV Cribs. But <laughs> you know you're getting older when you include sheets on an Amazon favorites list. But hear me out. Billy and I had a set of sheets that were about a year and a half old and I do wash them every week, but you know how sheets eventually they just need to be replaced. They're kind of, they've gotten stretched out. They're not good anymore. So when I went to buy sheets, I saw this set of sheets on Amazon and a King set was $23. And I said, there's no way, there's no way those are actually good sheets, but I'm kind of willing to spend $23 to find out. You know what I mean? And I am so happy I did because these sheets are even better than the ones we had before. And the ones we had before were like $50, which I thought was pretty cheap. And these are somehow better. So the brand is called 
Belfedor or something like that. They come in white, cream, and gray. So there are limited color options. We obviously have gray, but let me just tell you, first of all, they're super, super soft. They have a really deep pocket which our mattress is pretty thick. As you can see here, I mean, it's it's a thick mattress and I have struggled to find sheets that actually go around the full mattress. A lot of times, like they just, they don't stay and they pop off in the middle of the night. These ones actually stay, plus they are labeled. So when you go to put it on, it tells you whether it's the side or the top and bottom. And with a king size bed, it gets really hard to tell. So I love that they're labeled. Like I mentioned, they're just, they feel really, really good. Plus the king set comes with four pillowcases. A lot of times they only come with two and then you have to buy an extra two pack, but this comes with the fitted sheet, the top sheet, four pillowcases, for $23. I have washed these already, I think four or five times, and there have been no issues, no color change, no pilling. I am still just mind blown that these are only $23. Now the price could change because y'all know how Amazon works, but still like these are my go-to sheets now obsessed. So that's it. Those are my 10 current Amazon favorites. As I mentioned at the beginning, the links to everything will be down in the description box. And again, thank you Flexispot for sponsoring this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Got some ideas, whether they're things you want for yourself or things you're going to get for your friends and family. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on. <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next one.